So this is relatively small frame, so I'm not overemphasizing it, but I'll do it a little bit more uh, in a minute, well, in a few seconds, actually. So putting the foot down, I'm in a high stance in the back, and I'm sinking, and then transfer the weight. So there's a small addition now to how you do this. Here's an example of where you use it in the form. So I'm going into parry and punch. This is wrong. I'm leaning forward and now I'm leaning back. See, I'm going up and then levering my upper body forward and falling into it. See so how high I am and then I just lean forward. That is, that is basic bottom mechanics, but you need to move beyond that. Now, now I'm the weight back, joining the hands forward and backward, the high and the low portion of grasping bird's tail, single whip, and then taking a step off to the left with my left foot to transition into the last part. Now for the hand movement, so this is brush knee twist step, I'm going to If that meant you did basics for months on end, then that's what you did. And this is not just for Tai Chi, but for pretty much all martial arts um, that are out there in China. If it was very normal to have a teacher be very strict with you, you didn't get to just ask all the questions you wanted. And you didn't get to ask, well, how long do I have to do this? In most cases, that would be seen as being pretty insulting. To the teacher and at the same time it would also convey to the teacher that you're impatient and that you or that you don't trust him or that you question his authority and and so on so typically you would just do as you're told keep training and and that's it that is not a western mindset at all here in the west we question things we want to know why how and so on so that is one reason why there are such differences. Now, what that means is when in the East, they tell you to practice the long form, that's a pretty big commitment of time and energy before you get to the end of it. So when you do the long form, it takes